Hey, DJ Gunnar258 here, and I'm doing a review on the Air Mags Crossman C11. Um, first off, you have the Air Mag C11 logo right there. You can see that. Then on the flip side, you got um, warning before use, read instruction manual, stuff like that. Cal 6mm BB, made in Taiwan, everything is. Well, everything Airsoft is. Okay. Yeah, and this is a really great gun. It has this rail right here. Rail right here. Um, and it's a very nice rail. The gun is all plastic, basically. Um, here's the safety. Um, that's safe. And when it's on safe, you can actually pull the trigger, which is nice, but it doesn't fire anything. But you can put it over to fire, and then, yeah, and it fires. But, yeah, it's a nice safety. Um, yeah, um, you can get this gun off of, at Dick's Sporting Goods, um, for $40, it's a very nice gun, um, how you get the CO2 in, this is what a CO2 cartridge looks like, right here, and I got the Crossman kind, um, this is basically what it looks like, except this one has been used, it has been punctured, punctured at the top, unused ones won't have that puncture right there, and how you get it in, is you fold this out and nothing will be in there. You slide it in and screw this little tab at the bottom until it's all the way tight and it won't leak. And then you just push this forward. But one thing, good thing about this, sometimes it can, the handle grip can get in the way, so you can just pull and it'll come off, which is nice. Okay, and here's how to load your C11. You take the magazine, which is a skinny magazine, which comes out of the bottom. Um, you pull it down, the little spring down, and it will automatically lock at the bottom. And I would recommend getting a um, speed loader with this gun. Um, I, You can't get them at your local stores, but you can get them off the internet. I got the speed loader with the purchase of my Jingjong G36K. And yeah, after you pull that down, It'll lock back, you just load your BBs in there. Notice I'm using a mix of 20s and 12s, so this won't really do. I mean, these aren't that great of BBs, so the shooting test that I'm going to do won't be too great. And then after that, after that, you just, this little tab at the bottom, you just push that up, I mean forward, and it will lock that way. And then after that, you will insert the mag magazine into your pistol and there you go you got the orange tip okay I'm going to do a shooting test now so I'm going to be shooting at that little board over there and I'm going to be shooting at it from right here Okay, that was about maybe 12 rounds. Let's see how much I hit the target. It's pretty, it's pretty accurate. It, you could easily hit a man-sized target from that far, very easily. And the accuracy is pretty good. The BBs sometimes curve down, but that's okay. But this is a really, really great secondary and a pretty good primary. But if you had a primary, um, I would recommend making a riot shield, and you can simply use that of out of making it out of um, cardboard. Get creative, just duct tape it together, put a, some sort of handle on there, and then this will be a really good primary. But as a secondary, it is really great because sometimes my G36K jams, I pull it out, and then people are scared because it's CO2 powered. Um, also. 
They're scared of it because of the high FPS. It's 370 to 400 FPS. Like, almost all pistols at Walmart or Dick's are like 200, but this one's 400 FPS. And it's semi-automatic. And what I think of the gun, it is an awesome gun. You should get it. Like, if, you, if you're still having, like, backyard airsoft wars, you're going to dominate with this gun. Um, the only problem I do have, I got this gun um, at Dick's. And the, the first one I got, it had, like, some sort of problem with the magazine. But I returned it. They were like, okay, that's fine. And I got a new one, and this one works great now. And I will say this. It is a good Walmart gun. Almost all of local stores' guns stink, and they stink bad. But this one is great. It's a great CO2 pistol. Um, what I actually did fig figure out, if you go to evike.com, it's a very good site, um, there's this TSD M9 non-blowback. And what I figured out is this and the TSD M9 non-blowback are the same exact gun, except with different hard outer casing. They, they have the, um, this slide ba slides back on the TSD M9. The safety is in the same place. And the big thing is, they both take the same exact magazine. And if you get the TSD M9, like my friend is getting, um, I'll have a review of that soon. Um, if you get the TSD M9, um, on Evike, it is $15 for one magazine. At Walmart, it's $12 for two magazines. So that is really good because you can just get extra magazines there. So if you have a riot shield, you can have extra magazines and not the 15 round clip. This is 15 rounds. And they do double stack pretty good. Oh yeah, something on the magazine it says 6 millimeter, right there. So it's pretty nice. Overall, this is a very nice gun. You should definitely get it. Uh, it's just a good sidearm. And I'm very happy with the purchase. It was $40 at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I got the black version. At Walmart, they only have clear versions. So I went to Dick's because I wanted all black. And yeah, this is a great gun. I give it um, 7 out of 10 stars. Okay, and that is the review of the Crossman Air Mag C11.